hey, hey, all the evil people gather here in the bun, the bun, no, 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 Hey, and even though if you're not Igbo and you like to try new things, gather here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook nsala soup. Hey, did you hear that? Nsala soup. Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. As I said before, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to cook nsala soup, originally from Nigeria and from the east, the eastern part of Nigeria. The Igbo people, they own the soup and I'm from there. Wafibu, <laughs> yotago. Next, I'm going to introduce you to all the ingredients. To cook nsala soup, I'm going to use catfish. And this catfish has been washed and cleaned. To wash your catfish, you can use lime. That's what I use because catfish is very slimy. So to get the slime out, use lime and it's very easy. It just take out the slime very easy. I'm also going to use brisket. Wash and clean as well. And brisket add a lot of flavor to this soup. Please try it. Without all the spices in your insala soup, it is not insala soup. So I'm going to name them one by one. Here I have efuru efuru it has a very nice smell so next i have uzuza seed uzuza seed is spicy then i have uda uda so these are the spices the local spices so next i have yam wash and peel i've peeled the yam cut into medium size so we're going to use this for the thickener then I have the seasoning, which I'm using non-cube chicken flavor. I also have ogiri. You cannot cook this soup without ogiri. Ogiri is a local seasoning, Nigerian local seasoning, ogiri. Then I have crayfish. This crayfish has been grinded. Three tablespoons of crayfish. Next ingredient is grinded pepper. I'm using one teaspoon of hot grinded pepper, one teaspoon of Cameroon pepper. And Cameroon pepper adds a lot of flavor and has a nice smell. Then I have smoked catfish washed with hot water. Next, I have utazi leaf. This is utazi leaf, dry utazi. But if you can find the fresh one, feel free to use. Next step is to start cooking. In this pot, I add the brisket. To that, I'm adding salt. Then add seasoning cube one, chicken flavor. With my spoon, I break the seasoning. After that, I add one tablespoon of crayfish. Then add one teaspoon of the pepper. I mix the two pepper together. Then mix together until it's well, well combined. While I'm mixing until it's well combined, I'm going to ask you for a favor. If you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Waiting I do you. Please hit that button and subscribe, leave your comment and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you as you do so. Next, I add water to help cook the meat and the yam because I'm cooking the yam and the meat together. It saves cooking time and it saves your gas. I cover the pot with the lid and transfer to a medium heat to cook for at least 20 minutes. Next, I'm going to roast the spices. I have my pot in a medium high and to that I'm adding all the spices, the efuru, the uza and the uda. It helps boost the flavor. Roasting it helps boost the flavor. And when you're roasting this, you don't want to walk away from meat. It just takes a couple of minutes and you don't want the uzza to burn. If it burns, you're not going to like the taste. So after a couple of minutes, take off the heat. After three minutes, I take out the uzza and uda, continue roasting the efuru. This takes longer. It takes up to six minutes. After six minutes, take off the heat. Please remember, do not burn your spices. Next, transfer to a grinder and grind until it's smooth. If you don't want to go through this stress, you can go to a shop, a Nigerian shop around you and look or ask for nsala spices. But I prefer to, you know, go through this process to know what I'm eating, you know? <laughs> After blending, this is what it looks like, but I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use a tablespoon and keep the rest. To keep the rest or to preserve the rest, I transfer to a small food container, cover with the lid, 
then wrap. You can keep this in your freezer for next time you want to cook in salad. So back to our meat and yam. To check if the yam is soft, I pinch with my finger. Once the yam is soft enough, transfer the yam to a blender. Add enough water to blend. Then blend the yam until smooth. But you can also use mortar to pan the yam. Next step is to transfer the blended yam to the pot. I remove the meat because the meat is cooked enough. After that, I also rinse the blender then add to the pot. With a spoon, I mix together until it's well, well combined. Mix, mix until it's well combined. So now I'm making the base for the soup, for the insala soup. To season, I add the seasoning cube. I add one and a half, which is three pieces. So in one cube, you have two. Then I'm adding the remaining crayfish. After adding the remaining crayfish, I add one, um, the efuru. F rule one and a half teaspoon. I have one tablespoon, but I'm adding one and a half teaspoon. I, I want to know how it tastes before I add the remaining. I'm also adding more water now. I'm adding ogiri. Ogiri is the local seasoning, the main seasoning. During the old days, the our grandmother they don't use any seasoning, they just use the ogiri. So now I'm adding some salt. After that, I mix together. With insala soup, you don't want the consistency to be thick and you don't want it to be too watery. At this point, I'm adding more hot water to loosen the soup. After that, I mix together until it's well combined. Because this soup must not be thick. Oh, if it's thick, mm -mm -mm -mm, mm -ba no. <laughs> I did not pass the exam. <laughs> so this soup, you have to make sure you get the consistency. So I'm adding the remaining efuru. Add some salt. Also add the remaining pepper and mix together. And one thing I want to mention again is that this soup has to be spicy. It has to be hot. <laughs> if not, okay. <laughs> that is, if it's not spicy, you, we don't like it. We like it spicy. <laughs> so I'm adding more crayfish because I taste the soup and I needed more crayfish. You know, add crayfish, mix together until it's well, well combined. This is the base for the soup. When I'm making a salad with fish, this is what I do because you don't want to break your fish. So now I'm adding the smoked catfish, mix together again, then add the catfish. Did you see that? Hmm. This is the king of the king, the king of the village. This is the king of this soup. Yotago, add the catfish. Now you can mix together. So you see how I cook it? Don't first cook your catfish and start adding all oh, no 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 you're going to break your catfish. This is the best way to cook your unsala catfish. Next, cover the pot with the lid and allow the soup to cook in a low heat. Trust me, when it cooks in a low heat, that's when the fish absorb all the seasoning for 20 minutes. So this is 20 minutes later, and you can see everything. Hey, in koto jina bo ofe na bo means do you see how this soup is that is boiling bubbling bubbling yotago <laughs> look at the fish look at my fish my catfish <laughs> at this point i add the brisket remember the brisket that i cooked earlier on i add it now and this tastes so yummy because brisket has a little bit of fat it's like um tozo tozo meat in nigeria you can also use goat meat trust me when i'm cooking nsana soup i don't like to use only fish it's a bit boring i like to make it busy you know make it busy you you have the beef you have the smoked fish then you have the the catfish it just makes it taste yummy you don't want just one fish in one plate you get me so this nsana soup i guarantee you tastes really yummy so now I'm covering it again to simmer for five minutes in a low heat. Remember, we're cooking this in a low heat. You don't want it to cook with force. Cook in a low heat. So at this point, I'm going to stir it, but stir it gently. Don't stir it with force. You don't want to break that uh, catfish. Do you see? All my fish are in shape. That's why you have to make your base first before you add your catfish. 
So now I'm adding the Utazi leaf. Utazi has Utazi, Utazi leaf is a bit bitter, but not as bitter as bitter leaf. This is what is going to balance the soup balance it and all the flavor will just build up and give you that beautiful yummy nsala soup with this nsala soup i guarantee you you're going to love it nsala soup is very medicinal if you're suffering from money sickness or you have hangover over the hangover from drinking and you just had a baby this soup is for you or you just want to enjoy a nigerian local soup try this soup it doesn't have oil it's called a white soup i don't know why but trust me this soup tastes delicious and i'm going to encourage you to try it did you see what is happening in this pot <laughs> and when you want to serve this soup please serve it with pounded yam not gary pounded yam i have a video where i show how to pan pounded yam i'm going to link it in my description box go check it out if you don't have mortar and you live in the uk go to african shop and buy mortar soro digi soro digi g yota goes pan the yam for your family <laughs> so this is how to cook in sala soup and this is how i cook my sala soup thank you so much for watching this video to this time and if you've not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for organic che. there's a place where it says subscribe please hit that button and subscribe leave your comments and eh? share this video with your friends and family let me know do you love sala soup are you going to try this recipe and if you do please let me know because one day i'll start doing giveaway follow me on instagram Instagram continentalfood.cake. I love you all and I will see you in another one. Bye bye.